Let's uh, start getting some, some more clay on these legs. So, okay, as you can see, I'm going in and I'm pulling out some of the form here. Starting to put the base layer in of where the detail is, uh, is going to go on top of. And the great thing about Sculpey for me, about working in Super Sculpey, is that, uh, yeah, it just, it takes texture and detail so, so well. It's, uh, it's predominantly why it's one of my favorite mediums work in. So we got this big um, wrinkly area here right uh, above where this where this disc joint is going to be for his leg. So what we do to quote unquote hide the fact that there's a joint in there is we sculpt uh, the details kind of just right into where that whole thing would go and the wrinkles are just going to flow right into it. So again, this is just uh, your typical Kemper wooden tool that I'm using to apply some of this wrinkle texture into my sculpture. And like before, what we'll do is we'll get a brush and uh, with a little bit of turpenoid and start to brush out some of that detail. Um, then after, what you can do after you've carved in some of your wrinkles if you want, uh, another great little technique is to just go in and um, make small, uh, what they call, you know, most call them snakes or worms or whatever you want to call them. Uh, out of the Sculpey and uh, put it on the end of your spatula. And then what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll put that in there and it adds another level to your wrinkle texture. It helps broaden it out a little bit. As you can see, I'm adding more of this wrinkly type texture with my little loop tool. And uh, Sandy, let's say you were to sculpt a part that you'd like to appear in a clear material on a finished toy. This is again from Christian, mm -hmm. um, like a visor or a helmet. Do you sculpt it separately and ask the factory to make it into a clear material? How Absolutely you correct. Specify that stuff. Yes, you, uh, you would sculpt it normally in clay like you would sculpt anything else and then you specify when you deliver the piece to the factory that you want that made in clear plastic. Yeah, visor or uh, you know they uh, all these factories now are doing incredible work with uh, translucent materials and, and so forth. So now that we've got our, uh, the, 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 his right side of our, our tail section done, um, I'm going to move right into the, uh, the upper por portion of his hind leg here. Again, this is just simply a different version of a loop tool here. 
that I like to use. It's got a, it's more like a little, I, I call this a shark fin loop because it looks like a little shark fin. Um, and I'll just go ahead and carve my detail in with that. Okay, and as we're coming up on this area here, this is where uh, some people might opt to put what they call a hinge joint. Um, we opted not to do that, but I am going to show you the basic mechanics of a hinge joint and how it works momentarily. Did you have a rule of thumb when you were working for McFarlane or any of these other companies, or did they have a rule of thumb about what finished texture was all about? Was there a point at which you just, it didn't make sense to go further because it wouldn't reproduce or? Oh no, they, uh, they <laughs> these, these factories, believe me, can, can reproduce anything. Um, as a matter of fact, if, if anything, uh, it, it wasn't enough. You know, they were just like more, 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 put more, you know, more wrinkles, more texture, more this, more that. Um, so that, that was always, uh, uh, you know, a first and foremost thing that, uh, that a lot of these companies um, opted for and, and, and certainly looked for uh, when they were hiring people was, was how, how well you could, you could sculpt detail. How well versed you were in uh, duplicating different different types of detail and, and so forth. Can you talk about flow? Because I see a lot of flow going on. What's your? I'm a, a fan of uh, of following the forms for detail, um, and and I'm 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 a guy that. Uh, is, is, is a little bit of a, of, a, of a less is more kind of guy when it comes to detail. I think, uh, you know, your forms should speak for themselves, but you should also uh, have a sufficient amount of detail to provide the amount of, uh, of, of realism, yet at the same time, you know, without overwhelming the design or the sculpture itself. Um, Again, I just I, I I simply look at the forms, and to me, as you can see with what I'm detailing here in the back of his leg and this uh, little bit of the the thorax area, um, I'm 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 letting the form dictate what the flow of the detail should be. 